I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. I only saw what I wanted to see, until it was almost too late. This all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. I 
was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel... <sighs> I think I need to lie down.
This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway door to the left of the fridge. Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... 
Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe.
beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's, like, one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. 
It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. We're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... <sighs> the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. 
It's going to be okay. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into?
to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. 
I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. <sighs> None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe, I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. 
I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? better, but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck.
go back from whence you came. Get a good enough grip on it. Not helping. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Much better. This thing is going to the fuck up. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen. 
Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Problem is, you made it my business. And your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one 
is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that... How it became violent. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. 
and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Steph, how's Mikey? <sighs> Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. <sighs> I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man, jackpot. If I... Yes. <laughs> I want like 20 more of those. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. Is this Mikey's room? All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. 
Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh... no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. I think my work situations disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But... Other than that, it's just... Broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Yell at him? Like, a lot? In a stage manager voice. That is actually pretty scary. Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Barb the Elf Barbarian. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit, too? I mean, I just played with them once. 
It was epic. It was a little epic, yeah. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? You gotta save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner to discover... Barb, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Sup? Sup? I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Your crotch punching abilities are second to none. Suddenly, Dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? I beat the shit out of them with my bare hands. 18? You channel all your barbarian rage into your clenched fists, wailing on the dragonkin until the light slowly fades from their little dragonkin eyes. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder, as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. <sighs> running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Maybe the dragonkin won't follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly dissolving. <sighs> of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. You fall into it. Ugh. Seriously? It starts to burn your skin. A little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. <laughs> but right <laughs> before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. Your move. Let's see, uh, Astral Axe. That sounds destructive as shit. 
You swing your axe with the power of a small sun, slicing each of the cubes into thirds. <laughs> but yet again, the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Wh where do you keep getting these? A good game master is always prepared. The polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 damage. I cast Ring of Fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of tiny pieces. Um, let's try Rage Roll. You curl up into an angry little elf ball and roll furiously around the caves, smashing each of the little jelly bits into even more, even littler jelly bits. Uh, I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. As you near the exit of the caves, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps. Out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgeron. Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. This is awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Uh, you shall not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. Dude, you're worse at this than I am. Okay, you know what, Price? Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I wrote that for him. <laughs> Shut up. Now remember, Durgeron is still wearing his Bracer of Fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some uh, ice slice thing. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Shit. That's good, right? Durgeron, roll to reduce damage. You pull out your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. Durgeron takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. I'll swing my giant ass sword at your head. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. You'll pay for that. I call upon Elamon. Help an elf out. Hmm. I know. I cast Clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgeron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. You see a small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgeron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed currents. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the ribcage, 
dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. Skull bomb. Yes. Wait, skull bomb? I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgeron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Finally! Woo, man. Finally? That was like two seconds. I barely got to play. <sighs> man. Here, I have a potion. It'll make you feel better. I love these. How'd you know? She's got ways. Uh, if Durgeron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh yeah, the the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! Searing Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgeron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. But there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. You're Elamon, freaking wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Avernon. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. You're, like, the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Barb. I won't just kill you. Don't be afraid, Elamon. You are destined for great things. No. I won't abandon the best partner I've ever had. Mikey. I cast... Shield of Stars. Oh boy. A dome of blinding light surrounds the party. It captures the attention of all surrounding creatures. They immediately charge. This sucks. The Shield of Stars withstands some of the blows. But wave after wave of attacks weakens it until... Until? The shield gives out. Dragonkin and gelatinous polyhedra descend upon the party. Do we 
fight valiantly? Oh, yeah. By fire and sword, you take many of them down, though there are always more to take their place. Sounds like state last year. Their numbers overwhelm you, hacking you to death, or burning you with acid, or both. Eventually, you die, your bodies torn to pieces. Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for... three years. He was like... a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah. I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, really? You'll play with me? Sure, why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than, than the North Brothers. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Say hi to Rachel for us. We're rooting for her. Thanks for playing, Chloe. That was one of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy, but not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Those guys look exhausted. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. Wow. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Chloe. I can't even express thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet... Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. 
You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. Just don't do that again. Play the damsel in distress? <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a psycho with a two by four. That was crazy. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. <sighs> crazy awesome. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. 
to your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. I, I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by after I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No, it's really not. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well... Don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. It's really, it's really not your business, Elliot. Okay, that's fair. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello?
I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. What do we have here? I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. If it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. <laughs> it's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Sweet. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. More sherry. <sighs> James sure keeps lots of files on people. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Welcome to Shadyville. James's stamp collection. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night.
So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I send him a picture Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? James sure keeps lots of files on people. <laughs> More Sherry. <sighs> Looks like a recent email from Rachel's mother to James. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow.
Oof. Better not touch that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. Payment? Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And... She's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? 
Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... you wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I... I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But... but you're the one putting yourself in danger. Again! I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad the for- The next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? <laughs> she let you make a fool out of yourself. S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And- I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened, Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but- I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. 
With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay DA James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute.
I seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've gotta help Rachel's mom. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he- daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just 
want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes in Junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Can we just talk about what's going on here? Okay. What should we talk about? Whatever James told you, Sarah doesn't deserve this. She didn't do anything wrong. You think I give a shit about what she did? My job is to make problems go away. And she's the problem. Look, I, I just think... <clears throat> Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now... What do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry. Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. 
A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. 
Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. <laughs>